Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Keycap Showcase, where we showcase a bunch of keycaps. And we have some exciting stuff to show you guys today, especially one thing that I finally got my hands on, so I'm super excited to show you guys. Uh, but first, as for the norm with this show, I do want to jump into a little bit of news. Over the holidays, we're going to have a giveaway happening. It should be happening between Christmas time and New Year's, somewhere in between there, perhaps closer to New Year's, just because I, I don't want everyone to feel forced to come online during the holidays. I want you guys to spend time with your family. Please and thanks. So one of the things we will be giving away is actually an Ivy macro pad. And it's designed by a guy named Adrian and he is a crazy cool designer based in Texas. His website is keeb, that's with three E's, dot co. I definitely recommend you guys check it out. I made a TikTok about it, me just opening the package. I'll put a link for that down below. It got like a million views on TikTok within the opening day, which is really cool to see. And I'm really happy that he got the exposure. He makes some really cool stuff. And I do think that every bit of exposure that he gets is well-deserved. But if you guys do want to see any more photos or videos of those, I will have some video at the end and photos you guys can find on my Instagram as per the norm. I probably will take some close-ups and put those on alexodos.com. So definitely check my website in the near future as well. And then I probably will do a full review on YouTube within the next month or so as well. And the other bit of news, guys, is our friends at Oramech, being Anthony who owns it, is actually going to help me produce a sweater for you guys. And this will be my second thing, if you can say merch. My first thing was a sticker. This thing here will actually be the sticker, but on a sweater, as long as some other cool design concepts that I've added to it. And then down the road too, he kind of hinted that he was going to be releasing some artisan wrist dress, which he posted on his social accounts. But yeah, guys, definitely check out Ormec. He has some crazy stuff that's going to be happening very, very soon, as well as some other cool projects that I can't really disclose too much about right now. Keep an eye on him. That's all I got to say. But without further ado, guys, let's get down to the core of this show, which is the keycap showcases. And today I want to show you guys something that I really didn't talk about too much when I got it, just because I, I really liked it. But then I kind of put it on the back burner, which is NZ caps. And I think he makes some really, really cool sculpts. Uh, one of them being kind of like a skull of a ram, I believe this is. And it's really, really nice. This one here is done like a graphite color, which is almost like a flat. Well, it is a flat black and it just really, really looks good. I have it right now on my Tokyo build on the escape key just because it fits that Tokyo theme. Uh, but he has some other really cool sculpts as well. I have all three of his sculpts, I believe. I'm not, it's been a while since I've checked if he made more. He also has a T-Rex and a Bobcat. I have all three. The other two I have in like a silver. The T-Rex is here in my room. And the Bobcat is actually on my dad's build. So I'm just going to leave him with that particular sculpt. Uh, but they are quite nice. The stems do fit fantastic. The actual butt of the keycap is really good as well. Uh, they're lightweight. They seem really durable as well. But the detail is really, really impressive with these. And I just really like them. It's amazing what you can actually get done with uh, such a small area. And I will say that the Ram is probably my favorite and I just had to get it in, in black here, but I really wanted their gold one, which I missed out on, unfortunately. Uh, but I would like to see this done in like a metal. I think this would look really, really cool with like a metal finish. Really nice keycaps, definitely check them out. I believe he's based in New Zealand, hence the NZ. That's where I got my package from at the very least. So I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is. But a little quick story about NZ caps is he actually helped me out here. Um, he, when I actually ordered my package, a month went by and I just wasn't sure where this was in transit. I actually had reached out to him and I said, hey, do you have anything that you can help me out with here? Uh, maybe a better way to contact the carrier. He just said, hey, don't worry about it. It looks like it probably just got lost in transit. He actually sent out another cap to me, plus added kind of like a, I guess a bonus cap in this case here, uh, which is really nice of him. And it came really quickly this time here. I guess the first one did get lost. And when I received them, I was just stoked to open these things. The package is really nice. It comes in those tearaway packages, uh, cool little stickers and put it on my keyboard, no issues at all. But I believe these are regular stock items. I know I did miss out in his gold group buy, which was I think previous to this, um, but he does make some really cool stuff, guys. I do recommend checking him out. All right, guys, next on the list is something that I have been after for a while. And when I mean a while, I mean, since I actually started doing anything keycap related, I noticed that a guy named Hello Caps was making bongo cats. And I love cats, cats are really cute. But in particular, he was making Sailor Moon ones and I just had to have them. However, I didn't get into the raffle. I didn't get anything afterwards for aftermarket stuff. And just everyone who had them uh, was just, you know, selling it within seconds of that, even posting it. So it was just missing things. And I finally got my hands on one and it's one of the ones that I actually wanted, which is the Schrodinger version of his bongo cat. And this is the Diana colorway. And it's from Sailor Moon. It's adorable, guys. I don't even want to mount it. I just want to keep it in a box and just stare at it, which I, which is what I have been doing, to be honest with you, which kind of seems, you know, against the purpose of this. But at this point here, I'm just collecting them. 
But while the B-roll is probably rolling right now, just to quickly sum up the cap, guys, the resin cast is fantastic. The details out of this world and the paint that he did put on, like the color and the moon are fantastic, even on the eyes. Stem-wise, I haven't had a chance to mount this, so I can't give you guys a review on that. I'm not even sure if I want to yet. Just a really, really nice cap. And I have to say, this is definitely one that I'm really happy that I got. The next up on my list is Artemis and Luna. And once I get those, I can make a little happy family of these guys. But they are definitely out of my reach right now. I think they're probably few and far between people who want to sell them. So whenever I get the chance though, or if you guys see one for sale, let me know. I definitely need to pick those up soon. And that pretty much sums it up for this week's episode. I have a lot more keycaps for next week. Actually some stuff that just came in within the last day or two that I just haven't had a chance to even test out yet, like mount wise, or just take a look at myself. Some of it's actually still sitting in packaging. Uh, so once I actually get those unboxed and kind of do my thing with those, we're gonna have some really cool content for next week. Other than that, guys, I'm just so happy that you guys are still enjoying the content. And I hope you guys have a happy holidays as well, or whatever you guys celebrate. I just hope you guys have some great times with your loved ones, as well as have a safe and pleasant new year. Uh, until then, guys, I just wanna let you guys know that we're gonna have a slew of new things going on as well and there's gonna be some really cool new content in the new year. And I just wish you guys the best. Peace out.